Brad, 13 organizations all across the country have worked for almost four years to complete minimum training guidelines for 911 dispatchers. As of right now, less than 20 states across the nation have a set of standards required in 911 training. But now a set of basic guidelines has been designed for agencies to use for free to help better serve their communities. 240 million. Officials say that's the number of emergency calls per year that more than 6,000 911 centers take. We are that primary point of contact. And it's very important for it to have the appropriate training. But less than half of the states have any training required of their 911 dispatchers. We have worked together to come up with a guideline that any entity can follow uh, that basically serves as the floor for training for any 911 telecommunicator in the United States. It should be the minimum training. Katy Perry is the dispatch supervisor for the Martin Police Department, and she says she believes these guidelines will allow all dispatchers to have the same kind of training. When I first started 19 years ago, we only had a few weeks of training. It does not compare to the training that we receive now. Officials say that these training guidelines will also help in multi-jurisdictional emergencies, helping smooth over the workflow and potentially saving more lives. It's very broad. It covers a multitude of topics and subtopics, cross-training between all disciplines, emergency response, law, fire, EMS, rescue, emergency management. Officials say Weekly County 911 was chosen because their model is similar to around 85% of all call centers across the nation and helped find a reasonable minimum requirement for all agencies to use. If you're in New York City, you should get the same level of training that you get in Jackson, Tennessee. And right now, that's not true. Right now, Tennessee already has a required set of standards for 911 training in place. However, emergency officials will be working in Tennessee this year to raise and exceed the current standards to include these new guidelines. Live in the studio, Bethany Thompson, WBBJ7 Eyewitness News.